Anambra State Government hosts seven member delegation from Biosta State Investment Promotion Agency. Emeka Ambumi Anyoko Foundation Commission Center at Obosi Idemili North Local Government Area. Nigerian security agencies reveal how kidnapped victims were rescued from Kaduna Forest. North Korea deepens diplomatic relations with Russia. Before the news in detail, there is a special message. Governor Chuku Masuludo has come for a total turnaround and maintenance of the Anambra State economy and promotion of core Igbo values. Let's give him maximum support for a total turnaround. Good morning and welcome to our breakfast news this morning. My name is Sijama Uche. Welcome. A seven-man delegation from Biosa State Investment Promotion Agency, BIPA, is in Anambra State for a three-day pay learning visit of Anambra State Investment Promotion and the Protection Agency, ANSIPA. The delegation is made up of the executive assistant to the Biosa State Governor on Policy and Strategy, and Strategy Dr. Peterson Ogun, uh, the director General, Biosa State Investment Promotion Agency and Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Trade, Ms. Patience Abba, among other senior special assistant to the SSG Biosa State, and the technical aides to the Director General of Biosa State Investment Promotion Agency. We have details coming from our studios. The aims and objectives of their visit during a meeting with ANSIPA Management and the Anambra State Commissioner for Industry, Mr. Christian Udechuku, at ANSIPA office in Oka, the leader of the delegation, Dr. Ogun, said following the track record set by ANSIPA, they are in the state to study its model to enable them to domesticate same in Bayesa State. He announced that Bayesa State Investment Promotion Agency is set to kick off on 14th February and expressed hope that the visit will aid them in setting a template for the next four years. While thanking Anambra State Government for its hospitality, Dr. Ogun appealed that the visit will not be their last as they will make more visits in due time to properly put them on expected trajectory for their smooth takeoff. This will not be the final of our visit. Yeah. I'm sure that uh, um, by the time we kick off on the 14th of February, we'll have more reasons to be back here because this exchange will continue. Welcoming his guests, the Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of ANSIPA, Mr. Mark Okoye, announced that with Governor Chuku Masoludo's vision to industrialize Anambra State, the agency will, in the near future, be renamed Anambra State Development and Investment Corporation, ADIC, based on its new role in achieving the vision. We try to see ourselves, uh, and this is a big agenda for um, uh, big policy initiatives. For the Anambra State Commissioner for Industry, Mr. Udechuku, the state is keen on having a domestic population that is productive at home and exportable abroad to deepen the existing number one asset of the state, which is its people. Hence, investment in free education, since according to him, knowledge is the currency of the future. So that's something that Bias and Anambra can work together on. Uh, we can develop a strategic partnership. The delegation will, as part of its visit, meet with the Secretary of the State Government, Professor Solochukulobelo, visit ministries of lands, industry, budget and planning, and as well tour Oka Millennium City, shopping mall, solution fund city, international convention centers, and hotels in the state. The mission of the Emeka Ambumi Anyoko Foundation Center is to promote the study and practice of democracy and the management of diversity, respect for human rights, and the climate change in Nigeria and Africa. And this is according to the benefactor of the center, Chief Emeka Anyoko, who was speaking during the commissioning of the center built in Obusi, Idemli North local government area of Anambra State. We have details coming from here. Chief Anyoko, a renowned diplomat and former Secretary General of the Commonwealth of Nations, said the center will also assist the educational needs of underprivileged children in the country and promise the sustainability of the foundation to attain its vision and mission. The former Commonwealth scribe, 
Hood commissioning event also marked his 91st birthday celebration, said that he invested all he earned and his gratuity into the project, into the project to avail scholars, researchers, and the general public access to his repertoire of close interaction with the people and government of diverse cultures, political orientations, and geographic locations. I must say that the commissioning of this place today is for me a fulfillment of a dream that my wife and I had had for a long time. Commissioning the center, the governor of Anambra State, Professor Chuku Masoludo, called on every meaning member of the society to come together to develop Anambra State and to bring the world to the state through improved human capital development. Professor Soludo, who described Chief Anyoko as a global icon bequeathed to the world by Anambra State, commended the former diplomats for the vision of the center, which he expressed hope will boost scholarly research and attract knowledge tourism to the states. I can see the areas of focus, democracy, the um, uh, climate change, diversity, because we must manage diversity. The director of Emeka and Bumi Anyoko Foundation Center, Ms. Oluchi Guzoro, described Chief Emeka Anyoko as a man with large hearts who set the foundation to reach out to the people. Carter for the educational needs of the underprivileged in the country, she explained that the foundation offers a comprehensive experience combining a museum, library, traditional attire, artifact display, journals, biodiversity, and wild exhibition that will aid learning and research for intellectual development. So we hope to collaborate with them to host seminars, conferences, workshops, training for senior civil servants. We also help them to equip our computer room so that the youths, because we can't leave the youths. The event attracted the chairman of Anambra State Traditional Rulers Council and Obi Ofonicha, Igwe Nemeka Achebe, the traditional ruler of Obosi, Igwe Chibibem Uweka III, a former governor of Anambra State and Labour Party presidential candidate in the 2023 general election, Mr. Peter Obi, the bishop on the Niger, Right Reverend Owen Mokolo, former Federal Road Safety Corps Marshal and Minister of Aviation, Osta Chidoka, among others, commendations, cutting of birthday cake, tour of the foundation facility were the high points of the event. From Obosi, if Nayaman Wong, reporting for ABS News. You're watching ABS Breakfast News. Coming up next, Nigerian Society of um, Nigerian Society agencies reveal how kidnapped victims were rescued from Kaduna Forest. And then North Korea deepens diplomatic relations with Russia. Details when we return from this break. The Federal Capital Territory Police Command has reviewed details of how the Al Qaeda sisters and all the abducted victims were rescued from the bandits then in Kadri Forest in Kaduna State by the joint team of the policemen and soldiers of the Nigerian Army on Saturday night. About 23 persons were abducted on January 2nd, 2024 in the Zuma Area 1 of Karu in Barwick, Buari area of Abuja. The police confirmed that all the victims, including five sisters whose abduction had raised nationwide concerns, were rescued at about 11 p.m. on Saturday and had since been re reunited with their families. The bandits terrorizing the FCT and neighboring states of Kaduna, Nasrawa, and Niger were camped in the Kajri forest in the southern Kaduna area of Kaduna state. The Asian nation has also stressed their alignment with Russia against the U.S. and criticized the U.N. Security Council for calling on an emergency meeting over the country's latest ballistic test. North Korea has said it has agreed to further strategic 
to further strategic and technical cooperation with Russia to establish a new multi-polarized international order as the two countries work to build a united front in the face of their separate intensifying tensions with the United States. In describing North Korean Foreign Minister Cho Shon Hu meeting with Russian President Vladimir Putin and Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov in Moscow last week, North Korea's Foreign Minister said Putin also reaffirmed his willingness to visit Pyong Pyong Pyongyang and said that that could come at a later date. North Korea has been actively strengthening its ties with Russia highlighted by leader Kim Jong-un's September visit to Russia for a summit with Putin. Kim is trying to break out the diplomatic isolation and strengthen his footing as he navigates a deepening nuclear standoff with Washington, Seoul, and Tokyo. FIFA president Gian Infantino has called for the implementation of an automatic for feet of games for teams whose fans commit racist abuse. It follows incidents of which he described as totally abhorrent at Udinese and the Sheffield Wednesday match. AC Milan's win at Udinese was briefly suspended after alleged racist abuse from home fans towards Milan goalkeeper Mike Megan. Country's Cassie Palmer said he received similar abuse at Hillsborough. AC Milan's prayer walked off the pitch after France international goalkeeper Miangon reported, reported hearing monkey noises coming from a section of the crowd at the studio fields. The Onyegrim family of Umu Ezike village in Oku Etiti Elugu or Kabia Autonomous Community in Osu local government area of Imo State left a great vacuum has been created by the passing on of their patriarch chief Sir Ambrose Odiewu Onyegrim, aged 81 years. The disease was a devoted Christian and a prime minister of Elugwa Okabia Autonomous Community. Correspondent Ifoma Okabu reports that friends, business associates, and sympathizers trooped in within and outside the state to pay their last respects. We have details. At the funeral mass held in his honor at Holy Spirit Catholic Church on Mother Onisha, Reverend Father John Paul Uchengu described the disease as a great loss, not only to his family, but to the community. Father Uchengu pointed out that death is not the end, but the road to eternal life. While emphasizing on the spirit of forgiveness in order to obtain favor from God and pray for a peaceful repose. In their separate tribute, the children and grandchildren of the deceased, Lord Lodorin Amechi, alongside her husband, Chief Anthony Amechi, Miss Nime Soma Amechi, Mrs. Ogadema Eyimbe, and Miss Grimozo Amechi, eulogized him as a good man. The vacuum created by him cannot be filled and was very instrumental in raising them, saying his memory will linger in their hearts forever. Oh God, oh God, no. Oh my name, he went, he went so. He went so. The Almighty God, in his infinite goodness, we guide his family, protect us. How any of our heart desire that he is going to fulfill it. Adding their voices, Mrs. Medina Ijikara, Lola Patricia Onyegwen, Lady Kibedere is one name, Mr. Harrison Akobo Gazo, and Mr. Okechuku Okeke, among others, commiserated with the disease family while praying for the peaceful repose of the soul. The prayer ceremony was attended by various social groups, relatives, friends, in laws and well wishers, who took turns to pay their condolences. He said the cultural trip on which I entertained the guest from Onita. I am a former of Chile reporting for ABS News. 
The remains of late Mrs. Josephine Udechuku of Ezi Umwanya village, Umunya, in Oyi local government area of Anabra State, have been laid to rest at her husband's compound. She passed away at the age of 76, having leaving behind children and grandchildren and other family relations. Correspondent Emmanuel Chibata reports. During her burial service held by St. James Anglican Church, Umunya, a venerable Marcel M. emphasized the inevitability of death for all mortals. He described the deceased as a committed and dedicated member of the church and community and an outstanding icon whose life was exemplary. <laughs> I may be doing your big casting, won't do a ever on Jedeven. Manan do a well in Jedeven. Or a cabal would be seen or come my Ibe Bandy, you to Kalia Bandy, no more. Macanonia Dabandy, you to Iba, or an album where no two boss, or ya, the one more to a Nibo Sina Ibe Nature Canal or so. This law in Bosina death is an inevitable appointment every body must keep. Eminent members of the society, colleagues, families, friends, and sympathizers who attended the event showered eulogies on Mrs. Udechuku. On her part, Mrs. Ngozi Anatunam, the president of Diamond Mothers at St. James Anglican Church, Omonia, described the late Mrs. Udechuku as a woman of substance and valor. The children of the deceased, Chief Udechuku, Udechuku, Mr. Vincent Udechuku, and Mrs. Shimi Amilo expressed gratitude for the support received in giving their mother a befitting burial. My mother, she's a guy, always like me. She taught us not to be angry. She taught us not to wash it. Just to believe in us. I want to believe in us. They highlighted their mother's discipline and meritorious life and pledged to uphold the unity and love she instilled in the family. Condolences from sympathizers and friends marked the conclusion of the event. Emmanuel Chibata for ABS News. Of the departed to rest in peace. Amen. Remember that you can follow news and programs on ABS from any part of the world by liking our Facebook page. Follow us as Anambra Broadcasting Service. Subscribe to our YouTube ABS Television, ABS at Television, and on X at ABS TV, and on Instagram as ABS, T ABS Radio TV. You can also log into our website at www.absradiotv. Well, let's now look at the top stories again. Anambra State Government has hosted seven member delegations from Biosa State Investment Promotion Agency. Emeka Ambumi Anyoko Foundation has commissioned center at Obosi, Idemli North local government area. Nigerian security agencies have revealed how kidnapped victims were rescued from Kaduna Forest. North Korea has uh, deepened uh, diplomatic relations with Russia. Governor Chuku Masuludo has come for a total turnaround maintenance of Anambra State. Economy, Anambra State Economy and Promotion of Core Ibu Value. Let us give him maximum support for the tax ahead. Thank you very much for joining us. My name is Sijama. God bless you.